Ah, is this I can't tell. You clicked on this video. I'm here to talk about Cradle of Filth with Hammer of the Witches. It's their new album, Nuclear Blast Records. It's the follow up to uh, the Manticore and other horrors. Cradle of Filth. How do I feel about Cradle of Filth? You might ask. Actually, you probably don't even care. But I'm going to tell you, anyways. Um. I enjoy Cradle of Filth's music, and it's kind of weird. Like, I always find myself listening to them, and I never wanted to listen to them. I find myself owning their albums, and I was kind of like, I wasn't really thinking about buying their albums. It's like, I like them, but I don't love them, if you know what I mean. I think I have five of their records, maybe. Somewhere along those lines. Um... <clears throat> Very good band, and they have some solid songs, but their songs never fully, always stand out to me. Not, I'm not saying none of them do, some of them do. Um, but a lot of their albums and their sound and their style tends to blend together a little bit, in my opinion. And I did not enjoy their last album. I thought it was extremely weak, and I, I'll be honest, I didn't even really enjoy Darkly Darkly... Venus Aversa, whatever it's called. Um, Godspeed, The Devil's Thunder, I believe, from two, their 2008 album. Um, I enjoyed that album uh, a great deal. And I enjoyed Cradle of Phil's early stuff, Dusk and Her Embrace, uh, Midian, Cruelty and the Beast. <clears throat> Those albums um, are solid. <coughs> Excuse me. And <coughs> Excuse me. Didn't mean for that to happen. Let's take a drink. Jesus. Save me, I'm dying. Alright. Their style of black metal is interesting. I don't really talk about black metal bands on here a lot. Um, but Cradle of Filth is definitely one that stands out from the pack. You have to admit, whether you like them or not, they have a unique sound and style to them. Um, now with this album, Hammer of the Witches, I'm actually really digging this album, surprisingly. I, I went in with extremely low expectations, and this is an album that I feel I've been consistently listening to over the past week. And they, it's kind of reinvigorated my interest in Cradle of Filth as a whole. Um, this album is solid, dude. From start to finish, I was like, wow, like a lot of these songs really stand out. Some of them are extremely catchy, they're really well written, um, and they don't feel corny. You know, sometimes Cradle of Filth feels corny to me. None of them do uh, on this album. And, you know, songs such as uh, Yours Immortally or um, Enshrined in Crematoria, uh, Black Magic in Practice, the title track. There's a lot of solid shit on here. Um, <clears throat> now, the part that Cradle of Filth really, I feel, stands out the most is obviously with Danny Filth and his vocals. His vocals are kind of like no one else in metal. They're very weird. They're almost very more like talky through your teeth type of shit. Like, meh, 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 meh. you know, it's kind of weird. It's, I think it really works and it works on this album and it definitely gives Cradle of Filth their own style. Um, and that's cool. Um, I think this is probably one of his better performances. It's not a step up, it's not a step down. I mean, it's it's Danny Filth as he does. Um, <clears throat> and it, it just works. And, and, you know, lyrically, Cradle Filth has always been very dark and interesting. And then that continues on here. I, I mean, vocally, it's, it's what you expect. The guitars is where I feel it's a little bit of a step up. The riffage on here slams, man. It is seriously good. Enshrined in Crematoria, 
Probably one of my favorite tracks on the album. Really, really catchy guitar work throughout. Yours Immortally just fucking is a thrasher, man. It just, it's awesome. Um, there's a lot of just solid riffage on here. Um, something that I don't ever really expect from Cradle of Phil. I don't come into Cradle of Phil um, for the riffs. I, you know, just am more there for the experience and just listening to something dark and cool and weird. <clears throat> you know? The guitar works good on here, and I, I thoroughly enjoyed it throughout the entire album. Um, this album is very energetic. Um, <clears throat> the drum work is fantastic, and the drum work really just adds to the energy and drives it along. It's a very fast-paced album. It's an album that kind of goes by quickly, and when you know when that happens, usually you have a really good album. Um, and, and, you know, like I, I was just listening to it. My last listen before I did this video, and uh, before you know it, I'm halfway through the album. I'm like, "Wow, it's crazy. Um, it's it's good." And you know, <clears throat> I I like the added touch of female vocals for here and there in Cradle of Filth sound, um, and it works here as well as as their past albums. Sometimes they can get really just very atmospheric and very interesting and I, I just I like when they do that stuff um, and I like how it is on here I mean I think from start to finish this is just a really solid album man and one that might be my biggest surprise in 2015 so far I really honestly did not expect anything from this I was just like, it's another Cradle of Filth album that'll probably be boring. And man, was I wrong. And I'm glad to be wrong. You know, I, I want Cradle of Filth to put out good music because they're, they're a cool band. And this album is solid. I fucking love it. It's metal as fuck. I'm going to give this album an 8 out of 10. I think it's really fucking good, man. Um, I dig. Tell me if you dig. See you around.